Hey everybody, Luxenda Swirl here, New Day, New Cup Project. And I was reminded by a comment I received on a very old video this morning that I haven't done a dirty pour on a turning tumbler in like a million years. So I'm going to do that today. That's what we're going to do. This is actually a great opportunity because I have a ton of pre-mixed pouring paints uh, ready to use and they've just been taking up space on my shelves. I don't paint pour much anymore. I have a million canvases already that have been poured and, and I love them, but I, you know, the house is just full of them. And I have a bunch of skins left over from paint pours that have other kinds. And I'm going to use these paints up that I have here. And I'm going to let them fall onto the tumbler, off the tumbler, onto the pee pad. And I am going to throw them away. So be forewarned. This may upset some people who don't like to see art supplies wasted. Paint pouring is a wasteful art form to begin with. The project that we're working on is to use up my paints and produce hopefully a really pretty cup out of it. This is a 30 ounce thick from Maker flow and my pouring paints the ones I've chosen are mostly these deco art fluid art ready to pour acrylics ready to go in the bottle or out of the bottle we have lavender and there's just a little bit left of a lot of these emerald green deep turquoise true blue mint green tropical blue and fuchsia and I'm also going to use the titanium white and the old gold from the artist loft ready mix pouring paints. I'm going to move this aside while we layer our cup. This is a tri-split 16 ounce cup from Mixed Media Girl. I've used it before but as long as you turn it over let it drain out and let the paint dry you can use it a million times. I'm focusing on a million today. I'm feeling kind of old, I guess. But anyway, you can use it many, 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 many times. I tried at first to keep these cleaned out after I used them, and I just, I sort of gave up. <laughs> Lazy artist here, right? Okay, so we're going to pour the layers in, and I will commence pouring onto the tumbler. I'm not going to layer this cup with any rhyme or reason. I'm just going to put the, the paints in it, and I'm going to try and finish off as many of these deco art bottles as I can. Okay, instead of fuchsia, I'm going to use up the last of my coral, and here I have some vivid orange. All right, that looks pretty good. We can always pour more in the cup if we need to. There is no rule. Uh, if I were pouring onto a canvas, there would actually be a rule of how many ounces I need to make sure I have good coverage. I haven't, I don't, since I don't pour much anymore, I don't remember what the formula is. <laughs> it, was, it was something Mixed Media Girl taught me. Uh, if you want to see paint pouring in its most beautiful form, definitely check her channel out. I'll link to everything below. Uh, as always, she is the master of paint pouring. She really is. She's amazing. Okay, make sure this is in, in frame. Here we go. Oh, that? Again, this will be wasteful. Please do not be upset. Pour some more here. All right, I'm going to leave this going for a while. I will come back at some point and give you a side view. Okay, I'm going to bring you down here. We'll take a quick look at the side. 
I want to show you what happens on the bottom with these things. You get one gloop of paint that just starts basically going around in a circle with the rotation of the tumbler and it mixes all the paint that was on the bottom of the cup into one solid color. Uh, that, that just seems to be how the bottoms work with this particular style of tumbler making. <laughs> I actually think this is really pretty. Anyway, I think this will be very pretty when it dries and then we'll put some resin on it and we'll see what we, we do with it next. So stay tuned for the next part. And we're back. Okay, here is our tumbler. It is all dry. It is beautiful. It's a fascinating pattern of all the different paints we poured together. And uh, I love it. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to get a layer of resin on this to seal the paint on the cup, and then we will come back and do a decal. Alrighty, this has a layer of resin on it now, so let's put on our decal. I decided on the saying, creative minds are rarely tidy because, <laughs> because there's all this going on. Uh, I'm not crazy now that I've done it, now that I've cut it and weeded it. I'm not crazy about the um, purple. I mean, I, I think it goes fine, but it's not going to be as readable as if I'd used a lighter color. However, this is what we're using. I'm done with it. Okay, let it drop down in the middle. way out. Can make sure everything's where it should be. These little drips. I picked a font that has little drips on it because I figured that went along with the concept of not being tidy. Everything drips. However, as a result, some of my drips are kind of askew. I don't see anything radically out of place. Okay. Yay. Creative minds are rarely tidy. Obviously. I'm going to, t especially because of all the little tiny drips that could lift when I put the epoxy resin over it, I'm going to start by tacking this down with UV resin, sticking it out in the sunshine to cure, and once it's cured up, then I will put a layer of epoxy resin containing Marabou Rainbow Sparkle alcohol ink into the entire final layer, and hopefully we'll get some sunshine and I can bring you back for the big reveal. Here it comes. <laughs> 